So you finished your paper. You have a great thesis statement, your supporting evidence is excellent, and your citations are spot on. You're ready to print this paper out and turn it in, right? Not so fast. There's still one important step, proofreading. Proofreading may not be fun, but it's an important step in the writing process. As we write, we often make little grammar or spelling mistakes that we might not notice at first. A misplaced comma here, a typo there, and so on. While these mistakes seem small, they have a big impact on how your professor or even a potential employer views you and your work. Looking carefully through your paper to find and correct these mistakes makes you look more professional and allows the reader to pay attention to your great thesis and evidence rather than silly slip-ups and increase overall clarity of your paper. Let's look at a few examples of how important proofreading is. The writer wrote, the sun is a natural source of ultraviolet rays. When the writer really meant, the sun is a natural source of ultraviolet rays. Let's look at another one. Rome was invaded by ball bearings. The writer really meant Rome was invaded by the barbarians. A few simple mistakes can cost you your paper. At the Battle of Hastings, the Angels and the Saxons were defeated by the Mormons. The writer really meant, at the Battle of Hastings, the Anglos and the Saxons were defeated by the Normans. Joan of Arc was burnt at the stake. The writer meant S-T-A-K-E at the wooden post, not S-T-E-A-K, a piece of meat. Romeo and Juliet tell each other how much they love each other in the baloney scene. The writer meant to say the balcony scene, although some may question whether or not this is actually an error. All of these mistakes, while funny to read, could have been avoided if the writer took a little time to proofread. So now that we've established how important proofreading is, how do we do it? Here are a few simple tips you can follow to make sure you're getting the most out of your proofreading. Leave yourself enough time. Proofreading isn't something you can do last minute. It requires carefully and closely reading your paper, looking for any detail that's out of place. If you try to rush, you are far more likely to miss the errors in your paper. For example, married and marred look similar when reading quickly, but you definitely don't want to confuse the two. Sleep on it. Give yourself a break between writing the paper and proofreading it. This will give your brain a chance to relax and you're more likely to catch mistakes with a rested brain than with a tired one. Again, your married and marred are easy to mix up unless you're looking closely. Read your paper out loud. We're pretty good at hearing when something is right or not, and reading something out loud will help you catch mistakes and identify odd phrases. For example, try reading the sentence out loud to yourself. Hearing it out loud will help you know when a sentence doesn't make sense, which will help you improve it. Know your weak points. Chances are you're really good at some things and not so good at others. Over time, you'll start to notice things that you can work on. When proofreading, pay special attention to those things so you can be sure to fix them. For example, if you know you usually have a lot of comma errors, learn about how to use them and pay special attention to them. Take time to read it more than once. In doing this, you'll catch more mistakes than reading it once. The more you read your paper, the more familiar you become with it, and you'll be able to become pickier with word choice and the overall format of the paper. Look at each sentence independently. It's easy to miss fragments and run-ons when you're just reading straight through. Read each sentence by itself and you're more likely to spot them. For example, if you read these two sentences together, you may not notice that the second is actually a fragment. But if you read them separately, you'll probably notice that the second doesn't have a complete thought. Use spell and grammar check wisely. While these tools are helpful, they are far from perfect. A lot of times they won't catch typos and sometimes their suggestions aren't very good. In this sentence, spell check won't tell you that form should be from because form is a real word. Pay attention when you use these programs and make sure that what they tell you is correct before accepting their advice. Don't be lazy about errors. If you don't know something, look it up. In this example, changing one letter changes the meaning from a storm's consequences were experienced to a storm impacted the beaver fur industry. There are plenty of online dictionaries and grammar sites that can help you understand the concept and make sure you're using the word you want. Use a friend or tutor. Since everyone has different writing strengths and weaknesses, another reader can help you catch mistakes you might not catch otherwise. A friend can also tell you when something doesn't make sense. 
Tutors in particular are trained to help with all aspects of writing and can help you catch a lot of things you might miss on your own.